Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and I'm here to do my May completions. And I always just videotape or take a picture of some of my customers' quilts so that I can add them in at the end of the month. actually May 2nd I have a customer that I have done two quilts for and thought that I would share them with you and I just wanted to show you this beautiful pineapple quilt I actually showed have a video online showing you how to sew this particular block so this quilts easily makeable into a quilt and I will just walk up and show you the quilting. I use a design called shards and I thought that it looked like the top of the pineapple so that's why it was chosen. I have actual pineapple panto, the actual shape of pineapples, but I thought the shards did an excellent job with this. So that's quilt number one, very beautiful. This is our second quilt top. That I quilted for the month same customer and I just wanted to show you this really cute birds in the air quilt thought it was really neat I did have like some pictorial quilting designs that had birds but she just said the person that it was for probably would just want an all-over panto so I used this curls panto this one uh, comes from urban elements I think it's a digital design but just to give it some all over texture here so very nice I'm wondering if they were optional blocks one at our quilt guild because she has a name on one of the top blocks that's flipped over the deck but just thought that I would share these with you guys and we'll continue on with our show and tell throughout the month Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and today is May 30th, 2020, and I'm here to round off my quilting projects for the month of May. I am quilting two customer quilts currently, but I'll just wait and hold those into my June 2020 completed projects. So, let's get started. So, this is an addendum to another video that I've done for the month. So this is the third actual project that I worked on this month. This is Oh My Scrappy Stars. And it was done as a scrap club project, just using a charm pack. And then for the quilting, I used a star panto. I'm not sure if it's going to show up, but it's very pretty. This is a UFO that I've had since 2011. Just hanging around, had no reason to do it. It may end up being a baby quilt for a great niece, so we shall see. <laughs> the second project that I completed is called Link Chains. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this is a Billy Lauder pattern that I did years and years ago. When I go up close, I'll check the tag to see what the year is on it. I did some custom quilting on this one. I was playing with my butler system, trying to figure out how to do vertical rows. And it worked for the first pass. And then on my second pass, it was a little bit off. But I later found out that I had a pleat in the back so that's probably what happened it didn't necessarily quilt crooked it was that i had a pleat from when i didn't pull the sides of the backing um taut enough i actually got a pleat and that pleat threw off the entire quilt but when i look at it from the top 
you definitely can't see anything and then as it gets down to the bottom my vertical columns tend to be a little bit more off and it probably doesn't show in the camera which is this is my quilt so I'm experimenting so I am not taking things out so in this column here that is a panto right here and then I also did these scallops here in the middle and then that was done on the butler I also stitched in the ditch in between the vertical columns as well and then for my two borders I did that with ruler work on this grid here it's ruler work all the way around and then freehand swirls also all the way around in the piece border so that's this completed quilt here let me back up so you can see the entire thing right there after completing my two projects I went back into customer quilting this is the same customer quilts who I did earlier this month so I did six quilts total for her this month this one is just a uh, floral squares I think it was also an optional block at our quilt gill and has framing around them very pretty make a secondary chain design and I quilted this one with a floral panto. I can't remember the names of these things right now, but this is how it looks up close. And this was the largest quilt that I quilted for her in this set of four. She's just getting rid of projects during this time since we're mostly just hanging out at home. She's putting herself to work. This one is a scrap club project that we have for 2020. Uh, it's Bonnie Hunter's Crooked Courthouse Steps or something like that. So you can look that up if you're interested. And on this one, it's a feather panto on this one. And I know I purchased this from Urban Elements and I can't remember the name of it right now. But gorgeous the next one over here is called target and if I'm not mistaken again I think it's an Ann bright design and this one I'll back up but it's these blocks little blocks and they're just put on point and rotated various different ways very nice so that the light and dark shines make a neat chain quilt It's beautiful very nice I, I have no idea what this particular pattern is called and then this last one is called the Rogue River log cabin a rogue river log cabin and we did this at scrap club project many years ago as well I even have my own I need to quilt it's in my UFO pile and I use the wood grain quilting panto for this one in keeping with log cabin style quilts. So very pretty. I really love um, all of her quilt tops. Didn't take very long, like I said, most of them are baby quilts. Um, one may be considered more of a lap quilt, but enjoyed quilting on those as well. So that is it for this video, guys, for the month of May. Again, I have one quilt quilted for another customer, but I have to do her second one so I'll just hold that until the month of June but I will see you all next time take care everybody thank you all so much for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe share my channel with your other quilting friends and I'll see you in my next video bye bye tea quilters stay blessed